And now I present to you James B. Madonna and the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. Uh, okay. Uh, greetings. Greetings. And salutations. Oh, Beelzebub. He's, 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 she's sharp as a tack. As soon as we start the, the show, progressive discussions, the, the furnace starts to kick in. Before when I was getting prepared in the green room. <laughs> uh, make up, make up. Before, it was off for a while. Now it's kicking in. Anyway, uh, seven bells, seven lucky number bells for the show. Yeah, because of the weather. Yeah, the first snow of the winter of 2016 backslash 2017. If it is a backslash or is it a forward slash? I always get it confused. You know, it's a backslash. The slash that that leans to the, to, to the right. Now it's the other one. Yeah. That's a backslash. Yeah. So so what what they use is forward slash. Like in, in a URL, in, 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 a, in, a, in a web address, it, it, it is a forward, so it's a... No, in a URL or something, they use this one. No, they don't. Yeah. No, it leans to the right. It goes like, like oh, in other words, my, my right. Anyway, 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 anyway. 2016-2017, anyway. first snowfall. It's a wet snow, which makes it heavy, which meant I had to work a little to shovel my walkway. And well, you're going to be pissed because it's all going to melt by tomorrow. Boy, the temperature's going to get... Climbs at night. It's going to be 50 or 58 so, so all the snow I threw on my lawn will be gone. Well, all these scofflaws out there are going to be sorry if, if the police see them do it, but they're throwing their snow in the middle of the street. I'm not supposed to do that. These, these bums. And they better look around when they do that because you get fined now for that. Yeah. Not that the Department of Public Works in Bergen County, New Jersey, um, <laughs> do a good job <laughs> plowing. I was watching the plowing going on, and they were they were they were cruising up and down the street more than they were plowing. You know, I mean, you got to plow in front of your truck, and your job is to plow. Well, you become Mr. Plow. You plow. You see snow on the side, you plow it. So you, you you recreate the original parking spaces, but they don't do that. They don't do that. Uh, you know what? This nation is shot. It's gone. United States. It's gone. Um, hey, Trump is going to save it. Well, you know, if he keeps on appointing the people that he has been appointing, uh, all the uh, uh, corporate uh, ty tycoons and whores, tycoons. and 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 uh, part of the uh, the oligarch or the ones that take orders from the oligarch. If he keeps on appointing all these big shots, all these uh, CEOs, uh, he won't be able to uh, keep any of his campaign promises. That's correct. Because how can you keep your campaign promises to the poor and the middle class if? Your whole cabinet is is ultra right wing prophets before people on the planet. You know, it's corporatists. All coming, it's all coming out. I mean, isn't it funny that that the CEO of Exxon Mobil had this a uh, big meeting with uh, Vladimir Putin concerning got business with him concerning the oil wells in yes. uh, near the Arctic Circle yes. in Russia by the Arctic. They got business dealings together. You, you see how you see how no matter no matter what well the part the problem is political parties well no matter what political mindset you're from once you become a politician you you always have to end up following the money trail and it, 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 it always greed always uh, is involved in con control greed they, they never have enough money. There was an old, uh, old geezer, uh, a U.S. senator, I think, I believe. Um, I don't, I don't know his name because he was so damn ugly. I forgot to write it down. He looked like he had one foot on the banana peel and one foot in the grave. He, he looked like he would, he would be excellent 
as a new host of Tales from the Crypt. And uh, what he was saying is uh, the usual crap about, you know, uh, stealing your social security money and blah, 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 blah. And, um, so he was Republican. Yeah, I think he, yeah, he was Republican, of course. But of course, they, instead of being concerned with real problems, you know, they want to take uh, the poor's uh, uh, everything away. You name it, they want to take it. You know, yeah, they don't even want you to buy cold cuts or, or steak with your food stamps. So, um, uh, oh, and these these are the real Christians that are close to God. Uh, oh, I got a, you want to laugh? I got a, um, a call from the Joel Osteen organization and, and a woman got on the phone and then I told her the truth. I says, I am not a fan of Joel Osteen. I just want you to know. She says, well, would you listen to... Joel Osteen's uh, prayer for this holiday season for you. Would you at least listen to him? Uh, I says, all right. I need a good laugh. Let me listen to him. <laughs> and I laughed. And I laughed. And um, he um, he he doesn't speak scripture. Uh, he just talks about the Lord wants you the prosper. best for you, and the Lord wants this for you, and He wants to bless you and your family. And the Lord wants this. And, it, it's all about get, you know, about the prosperity preaching. And then, of course, at the end, he, they're asking for donations. I, I just, after I had my, my good laugh, I hung up. You know, it's, uh, um, he, um, gee, he has a lot of money to do these things, but I wonder how much money goes towards feeding the homeless, uh, 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 um, um, home, uh, the, you know, uh, uh, poor veterans, um, the poor, uh, poor people in the United States, which happens to be growing, like Bernie, Bernie Sanders says. Yes, the middle class. Isn't it funny that the time Bernie Sanders said the middle class started shrinking was the time Ronald Reagan took office? <laughs> No, it's not uh, funny. It, it's what caused the shrinking. It's it's it, it, yeah. The war Voodoo economics caused the shrinking. Now, in other words, that was full-fledged war on the poor. Plan, plan. It was all part of the plan. Well, I um, trickle down is a plan. Well, it's a lie too. Well, that don't have to be a lie. It's a plan well, it that could, benefits the rich. Well, period. Trickle down if it's uh, if it's utilized by honest people uh, can work. If the number one, if you trickle, if you allow it to trickle down, number one, and number two, if you keep the jobs in the United States. But if you don't tr make, if you don't trickle it, it, in other words, if it pools at the top. And that means it, it, it trickles to the top first and then trickles down? No. And 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 the as the That's not a fair system. It's like a wine it's like a big wine glass. And you're pouring wine in it. And as as the company prospers, the wine glass fills up. And right before it overflows, they switch it with a bigger wine glass. So nothing no no wine drips down to the bottom. And they just keep on replacing it with a bigger wine glass. Uh, but it's not supposed to. Well, you remember the banner with that, that douchebag, uh, scumbag uh, CEO of uh, Papa John Pizza when he says, we're not obligated. We're not obligated to share the company's prosperity with our employees. Didn't, didn't, didn't Billy do something with that? Or, well, well, that or debunks Jerry? it. Huh? Didn't Jerry do something with that? You sent it the other day or something? Anyway, I saw it the other day. Yeah, he, you know, he just made an animation uh, that you'll see for the end, for the for the end cap of the show. But no, he um, he's learning this very very difficult uh, professional software where you can make practically any friggin' thing with your computer, like you know, three D animated, realistic human faces, and, 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 and I mean, you can do any friggin' thing. But it's very hard, and he's he's little by little, he's taking. He's taking uh, one or two hours to study it uh, because it's like, I don't know, man, it's really professional. But uh, he's, he made it. He, he, that was his first, his first experiment where those two planets colliding. Oh, I saw that. 
That was yeah, yeah. That was that was, but that was child's play compared to tip of the iceberg. Well, compared this was, to this was I think it's called blender. Or this was blanket. basically the capitalism thing over there. Well, the capitalist pyramids, yeah. and there are some real good ones out there. You will see them when we break for uh, promo lunch. Uh, there are many good pyramids, hmm. and they just happen to match the pyramid of feudalism. And uh, the, there's another pyramid that I left out of the Egyptian pharaoh's hierarchy, which is very similar to feudalism. But no matter how you shake it, the pyramids more or less represent the same system of a very greedy few at the top that don't care about any, any, anybody else. Hogging, hogging all the prosperity. Well, isn't that imperialism? The monarchies, colonialism, colonialism. Uh, 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 now we have uh, capitalism, a uh, 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 crony capitalism, or or fascist oligarch crony capitalism. No matter what you want to call it, the industrial revolution, of course, didn't help. But uh, it, it, it's all based on real selfish, miserable bastards that just have no. It's almost like they're sociopathic. They they show no remorse for what they do. You know, if they're corrupt now, they advertise what they are about, and and it's almost like they're rubbing your nose in it and they're laughing. Ah. Like no, nothing. Uh, there's no shame anymore. Trumpy does that, doesn't he? Oh yeah, that that woman uh, said that. Well, if you criticize Donald Trump, expect. Uh, expect uh, uh, repercussions or, or uh, uh, retaliation or whatever. Expect, in other words, expect to be punished. Mm -hmm. What if you're telling the truth? See, that, get, that gets by to the, to the new popular catchphrase today, uh, which is called the fake news. Is, you know, is the fake news, there are fake news that's fake news. You know, like you can't, I, I got news for you people, you can't trust Snopes. Because well, Sno Snopes always puts down nutritional supplements and always promotes big pharma so uh, popular drugs. So popular mechanics and uh, consumer report. They've always done that. Right. So unless they go by the the official word. Yeah. You know. Like like if Doctor like Doctor Oz, he did a show on antioxidant about on aging. Well, his answer was uh, I think Botox injections. Yeah. In other words, it was very mainstream medical doctor surgery, surgery, you know, um, yeah. uh, 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 proper, eat properly and get Botox. Oh yeah, that, that oh that's the only way you can keep you up. Yeah. Great. But anyway, there's there's fake news that's part of officialdom, and then there's blatant fake news that for, with people that just want to stir up trouble and disrupt. Then there's the so-called fake news, where if you tell the truth about somebody. In, in the spotlight, in politics, and they hear about it, they get bent out of shape because you're criticizing them. And you could sue them. They and, want to sue you then. And, and then they... It's liable. Like, see, I can never understand that. If you if you say something in public that is that is proven, that is true, like, uh, I, hate, I hate to tell you, but, I mean, I watched the video, and uh, after all the years that rolled by, uh, uh, Sheriff Arpaio and uh, other people, they had the best forensic uh, document professionals in the world work on Barack Obama's certif birth certificate. And it was without a doubt a, co uh, a, a copy, it was almost identical to this other woman's certificate. It was for all, it was determined. 100% fraudulent, Wrong. but you got to watch the video. Uh, you're not going to learn it from the video because you're not putting all the stuff. No, they together. show. They show the, the. What about the announcement they, in the newspaper? No, they show the difference between this no, woman's no, 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 uh, no, no, birth no. certificate and Obama. Doesn't matter. And and it, and it, things were pasted. Were pasted and brought over. Doesn't matter. What about the birth announcement in the newspaper? Now, Arpaio at the same time. Arpaio proved without a shadow of a doubt that it's fraudulent. Did you hear what I said? I watched the video. It was proven uh, did fraudulent. Did you hear what I said? I don't care what the media says. But they concurred around the same time. 
That, one can't be fraudulent that, and the other one real. That, that birth, uh, um, uh, uh, they got to be both real. That birth certificate that, that was shown in the, in the government website, the one that President, o fake. President Obama decided to show the public, is was proven without a shadow of a doubt by, by, the fine, by the finest... You're sticking to the birth certificate. A analytical, uh, I am yeah. adding a new fact to the matter. Yeah. There was a birth announcement in the newspaper at the time of the birth. Okay. So how can you, you know, you can't combine that with the fake birth certificate. So the so the the, the this particular he was born. So this particular case will go on. No, it won't. It's over. It's done with. But only you. Uh, That's you because know, you you want people. it to be done with. Because heaven forbid anybody should attack or. A female Democrat or a black a black Democrat. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I mean, heaven forbid, you know. Uh, 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 so. Uh, Why the, am I so loyal to Democrats? The other week, uh, uh, one or two Why weeks ago. Why am I loyal? You you don't to want Democrats? to believe anything that came out about Hillary Clinton at all. Like, Why like a, am oh, I? Oh, it's fake news. Loyal to Democrats. Because because you you you're you're saying you are not you're, being you're fair. saying critici critici criticism of Hillary is fake news. No, you no, were no. determining that. I didn't say all. Where do you get this idea? A journalist is supposed to be fair and balanced. That means that no one is all bad and no one is all good. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We can't single out any anybody or any group. Or Not any... for all. Yeah. Not for Isn't, all. Uh, oh, the Republicans want to... Uh, Pretty much do away with the uh, uh, the First Amendment and journalism as we know it. They they want to they they want to control information. But in the United did States, did the Dwight D. Eisenhower Republicans want to do those things? I wasn't around back then. It doesn't matter. They what? didn't. A change occurred with all the think tanks, the Republican and conservative think tanks. Starting with Reagan. This is good, not starting with Reagan. It's been going on for years. The John Birch Society. The 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 the, the, the what was his name with the? With uh, oh, the, uh, another word. Another another words. There have been organizations in history, and there probably still are that were were farther to the right. As a right wing, than than the Republicans today, yeah, in they were called Congress, the Ku Klux Klan, the Congress and the Senate. <laughs> in, other, in other words, there were organizations that were that are were even farther to the right than yeah. the Republican Party. Of course, even during Eisenhower, they they were of there. Of course, in other words, they basically don't like anybody that's not like them. That's if you're good. not rich, white, and wasp waspy. Yeah. White Anglo-Saxon Protestant, Lily White, and wealthy. Uh, you uh, you were no good, and, and and they wanted to kick you out of the country. Right. Uh, uh, they like. Well, they're really they they're they're, they're, they're mm. incredible hypocrites because, I mean. Well, the Democrats were at that time too. Like they don't like they they blame all their problems of people on people of color, but they sure want like people of color. And immigrants of color to work for them. Yeah, cheap slavery and slavery and cheap. They want it back. So they want to, and now they want to find. They want to heavily find the homeless for sleeping in public, in the cities. Hey, you know the homeless can't pay the fine. So yeah. what happens? They get arrested, and, and I they bet work for a private prison. I bet they send them to a privatized prison as free slave labor. That's correct. That's what it's all about. Yeah, the article was like mentioned. It looked like New York City, but it mentioned like thirteen hundred dollars fine for sleeping in public as a vagrant. There you go. So the system. Let me get my Blackthorn shillelagh. The system that we have today, society, uh, creates. I mean, the politicians at the top creates the uh, economic environment, which causes the poverty which makes these people homeless mm. then they're fined for not having a home and they therefore they don't have a job mm -hmm. or sufficient income they can't pay the fine and then they become cast into slavery in a legal manner
and that's how to get them out of society and get them out of voting and get them out of opening their their stinking mouths when to complain and etc. Oh no, that's right it's now. The same bullshit. Now, now, if you're in a privatized prison for uh, unfair reasons, which includes uh, marijuana mm -hmm. uh, and prostitution, whatever, unfair, unfair, stupid, frivolous crimes. You're, like three you're, times kiting a check. Yeah, you're 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 providing uh, free slave labor for a corp corporation in a privatized prison, mm -hmm. and now you can't vote when election time comes. Right. There goes there goes a a uh, a left a, a liberal vote or a Democrat vote or whatever. Usually, you know? yes, usually. So because yes. uh, the poor person will either vote Democrat or they'll vote they'll vote for a progressive independent. Or, what as they're... in Kentucky, they'll vote for stupid Republicans. Now, getting getting to the the, the people that live in them da yeah. them da evangelical uh, zealot uh, right wing uh, uh, racist uh, redneck parts of the country. I see. I see this, son. Uh, um, the uh, uh, Nathan, okay, was telling me. That in Tennessee, the uh, the people uh, are uh, very very strangely agreeing with uh, the Republicans wanting to raise the retirement age. There are there they, these are regular folk. They're agreeing where they says it'll be good, and, and Nathan says I for the life of me I can't understand why they're saying this. I says, are they are they like brain cell deficient? Are they brain dead? There's something in the water. He says, oh well, they, they they're brainwashed by the propaganda. Yes. Well, how come I'm not brainwashed by the propaganda? Jill Stein's not brainwashed. Gary Knowles not brainwashed. Because you didn't grow up in it. You're not brainwashed. You have to grow up in it. Now, in now the environment. Now you. from from Kentucky and Tennessee, we, uh, uh, you know, Kentucky where they're living in shacks. And you know we're gonna go farther north to Wisconsin with that video when Bernie Sanders was in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Kenosha. And this fucking old bag, and I posted it on um, on uh, YouTube. Uh, this fucking old bag that would make excellent fertilizer got up and said with her stupid voice and her stupid accent, told Bernie Sanders. Once you start talking about free college tuition, that's when I stop listening to you. That is absurd. Free college tuition is absurd. Oh, really? It's absurd. So I guess paying out of pocket, being in a country where you have to pay out of pocket for every damn thing is, is peachy keen in your eyes. Oh, uh, uh, I, I guess most of the civilized world that has free college tuition yeah. and health care, yeah. they're, they're absurd too, right? Exactly. Where does she? Where does she get this stupid John Philip Sousa music, Yankee flag waving horseshit? Well, that's what from. they do. They grow up in it. Well, well, well she can't. But she never really explained why. Uh, of course. Why not. it's 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 not absurd to pay out of pocket for college? Have they explained what they're going to replace Obamacare with? No. When they get to repeal it? No, no, they haven't. They don't have to do this. So, Did Donald Trump, in running, yeah. have to explain any of his lies? No, he not they, one. No, they just love what he said at the rally about. That's correct. About you know said racist things and uh, uh, misogynist th uh, comments uh, or uh, uh, xenophobic, homophobic, so, so on and so forth. The crowd ate it up. That's correct. They all love it. That's all. That's all he needed to do. And grabbing women by the pussies. Yeah, coochie grabbing. I mean, you know. You know that kind that, of thing. The people loved it. Exactly. That kind of thing would have got rid of a Democrat one, two, three. Hey, I like just having a, 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 a chick with the, with, hey. the, with, the, with the, uh, whoa, what was his name? Gary Hart. Gary Hart. Remember? As soon as they found out about his loved one. Oh, his morals are not good enough. That's right. He went down the tube. Yeah, but, you know, like you said before, there's no such thing as a little tiny sin, a medium sin. No. And, and a big sin. Sin no. is sin. It's all and, the same. And, you know, and the, yeah, the old lady's going, it's, I think it's absurd. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. This is why... <clears throat> th this is all part of the spellbound... Uh, behavior 
or or whether it's doubling down of America, radon gas, or 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 uh, UVB radiation, or or, or uh, fr uh, uh, toxic. Uh, substances and with fracking with the water supply I don't know what it is but America is becoming more dumbed down by the year as the years go by why do you think more, they don't more, free more. education that would go against their dumbing down procedure I mean wouldn't it? Bernie Sandals Bernie Sa Sandals Sandals Bernie hey. Sandals say yeah, that's a vacation uh, 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 yeah, uh, yeah. yeah resort uh, travel agents. Anyway, Bernie Sanders, he proved it. He proved it that these Scandinavian countries yeah. have have a very good environment for business. Businesses are doing quite well there. Uh, their prices are not through the roof. They're actually the same or a little little slightly higher than, than here. They're doing well and they're paying a much higher tax rate they're paying their fair share of taxes the people get free and even even tourists can go free health care free college tuition uh, uh, maternity and paternity leave a respectable um, retirement with dignity um, uh, sick days and everybody's basically very happy they they announced they uh, it was announced that Denmark is like the happiest one of the happiest countries in the world because they have all these things all this democratic socialism and they all have a smaller economy than we do right now why should that's why you don't see, they can afford it that's why I think the last time you saw Scandinavian immigrants come to the United States was probably uh, you know a hundred years ago when they went you know the lumberjacks went to uh, Minnesota and you know those states where there's was, there was a lot of lumber. I think it's, that's the last time Scandinavians came here. Other than that, there's no logical reason why Scandinavians should leave that system and be, go from being happy to miserable. Um, uh, uh, another, this is the second time I'm doing this, but he deserves it. The Prime Minister Trudeau of Canada. Every time I read what he's doing for his country, I have to uh, salute you. Uh, you. You're doing the right thing. Uh, uh, it, it, it's basically the best system uh, that can be created ever is democratic socialism. Now, Bernie Sanders, um, I try to look up the party, the progressive party that he's trying to start. I try, he does not have a Facebook page on it yet. But he, there is our revolution. But I hope mm -hmm. that um, I mean, gee, if he, if it's true that he wants to make a comeback in 2020, he better take some heavy-duty nutritional supplementation because in four years he's going to be almost 80 years old, right? 78, I think. Yeah, and I, I hope think. he, I hope he's going to have this the intestinal fortitude, vitality, and spunk, spunk, and gumption. By time spunk 2020 spunk. rolls around, yeah, spunk could be something interesting. Yeah, it's a euphemism for semen. In, 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 in Great Britain. From Victorian in, time. In England. Uh, 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 I can't uh, think of this guy's name. What, what the hell is his name? I'm trying to imitate him here. Spunk and. Um, Vim and Vigor. Yeah, vi Vim and Vigor. And vigor and vigorous. Vim and Vigor. Um. Well, uh, I will be doing a Chisholm's Hall of Shame very soon on the exotic pet industry, but, but I'll just, um, I don't have any company per se that, that currently needs to be bashed. I'm thinking nothing really happened to me yet as a customer uh, oh I did I did speak to Verizon tech support about my issue and they did uh, help my situation they did say that something was 
causing it to be a little slower and they did get in there and help me out so I, I gotta thank Fios you're supposed to have a dedicated fiber optics line it's not shared so therefore ipso facto ergo your bandwidth and your download speed should be optimal over a cable motor but uh, I will be doing a, uh, a, a separate show podcast on uh, the exotic pet industry, which is very similar to the uh, fine jewelry industry, which reminds me, I do have a chisel that's all a shame. Yes, I do. And I'm so sick and tired of hearing the fine jewelry commercials, uh, you know, like Jared K. Jewelers. Um, I think um, Jerry is running this that a nauseating commercial uh, Levion's chocolate diamonds. First of all, chocolate my ass. That is a probably a Jew retail uh, uh, word for common brown diamonds. Mm -hmm. I bet there are so many brown diamonds coming out of South Africa that they are, they are literally a dime a dozen. Ooh. I bet chocolate diamonds are extremely common and they cost the retail industry next to nothing and then they cut them and make them look pretty and they call them chocolate diamonds. Ooh. Instead of giving her a box of chocolates, you know, give her a, a low carb, sugar-free chocolate diamond. So they call it chocolate diamonds so that you, go, you run out and buy and go, ooh, I have chocolate diamonds. They're chocolate. You know what? It's one of the three things. It's, it's three all, things it's all bullshit. that you give on these holidays, and that's chocolates, flowers, yeah. and uh, but, it, but it's all part of retail of brainwashing retail advertisement that occurs during this fake, uh, uh, fraudulent, uh, 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 pagan, uh, so-called Christmas, where you know. All the hoopla, all the uh, the movies with Jimmy Stewart, It's a Wonderful Life, all the Ebenezer Scrooge, Christmas Carol, all the bombardment with nauseating commercials. And then the day comes and then people complain about their, their gifts. And then the next day, it's all over. Like, go back and exchange them. Yeah, and then they go back and they exchange them. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's... Uh, Oh gosh. Anyway, you mentioned fake news again. I <laughs> neglected to, to uh, put in before. Facebook is now going to yeah. examine those and will have a label or something on fake news. Well, they're already putting uh, a little tag under certain posts where it says uh, predetermined um, uh, 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 we are reporting this post is on, on being reported uh, uh, ahead of time by Facebook, something right. like They're that. They're not so, censoring the post No, no, itself. it's not censored. Oh. If, like, if, like in my group, I've been getting all of a sudden, I've been getting uh, posts, articles that are being reported, and I thought it was a member that was doing it. Oh, no. I, I read the fine print. It's Facebook that is taking it upon themselves to report something and the articles are not preposterous, they're not silly. They are, they seem like legitimate articles pretty much on how the fascist oligarch system and corporate capitalism is screwing us over once again. And uh, there are articles that sound like they're, they're informing the public of the, the big screw job that's going on and and Facebook is is uh, pre-reporting them in other words they're they're trying it's like, it's like they're trying to get everyone not to display certain posts certain articles oh, yeah but they're not censored right so they're trying in a way they're they're trying to censor the truth now, no, they're trying to get at the truth. They're, they're, they are allowing you to see both sides. 
Yeah, but there is. What is Fox News? What if there re, What if it's in red and it says Facebook is 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 reporting this? You know, when you fake. get the report, yeah. that means somebody doesn't like the report, the article. Somebody no, is objecting not like, to it. Not like it has been determined. It is fake. Not like. It's not opinion stuff. No, no, no. It's it's it's, not it, 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 it's a. Uh, uh, they are objecting to to the post. They are. Uh, they no, are. They have determined. Well, that the, it is well fake. the word fake and fraud is not in the fine print. It is just well, says it, it, it is pre predetermined. It is pre-reported by Facebook and in red. And then I click on the red uh, uh, link to see what article is reported. And it, well, and it always seems there. to be a, a hard-hitting article. The article should be there. Yeah, the, it is there. It, it, it's, okay. a pro, it's a pro-progressive, uh, anti-corporatist type of, of article that Facebook doesn't care for. You have to be very careful. People who do propaganda yeah. They will infiltrate and appear to be part of that which they bring the propaganda out of, like you're saying. Well, they sound like progressives. Yes, they do, because that's what they want you to believe. But the, what has come, comes out of their mouth is the opposite. If you read carefully, you have to be able to, you think when the Russians or the Tokyo Rose or whatever that they gave in their propaganda the troops? That's like Nazi propaganda. But they're not going to give it straight out blatant. You see what I mean? No, it's going to... They're going to sugarcoat it. They're going to do something that it allows it to get into your brain. Like, like you know, whatever... Uh, like the hidden word subliminal right, advertisement. Right. In other words, it's a slow brainwashing process. That's right. Slowly. It desensitizes certain aspects well it gets in their ideas that's what it does that's what it's supposed to do like 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 uh, now I bet people think oh it's okay to be um, to take uh, bribes maybe someday people oh, will of actually course they, people, what did just happen in Virginia with that good with the governor people people would he was think, allowed to keep all the gifts he got from that idiot <laughs> oh my god yeah, so so it's like oh Bri bribes are the norm. No, bribes should not be the norm in politics. Money bribes are are part of corruption. But but the brainwashing. See, people. Uh, the most Americans are not independent, critical, free thinkers. No, they're not. But wait till you see what is going to happen with Donald Trump and the emollient clause of the Constitution, where he can't have his businesses while he's president. Donald Trump is, in a, is, is in a pickle because exactly. Donald Trump has way too many conflicts of interest. That is correct. And I don't know what he thought the duties and the lifestyle of the President of the United States is or was. I don't know what he thought, but... It, 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 what he thought was it was to benefit Donald Trump. It, 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 That's it, what it, it, it Maybe he thought it was the ultimate reality show for him and his ego. I, I don't know what he thought. I, he, well, he originally, he honestly didn't expect to win. That's, yeah, probably true. But all them dar, teabagger, redneck, racist, evangelicals, you know, they love them so much, you know, that, I mean, hey, you and I could stand in front of a podium and pace back and forth, and we can say re ridiculous, uh, uh, absurd things. Yeah, and, and, and the next people... day, just say the opposite. You took me out of context. That's right, or whatever. I was taken out of context. Oh, like when he went, like, he did the... <laughs> it was sarcasm! He probably would say, oh, I, uh, you, got, you, you know, he could turn around and say, well, you know, I got a warped sense of humor. You know, those that know me know that uh, Where was the car where was the sarcasm in grabbing women by the pussy? Actually it, or, or wanting to bang his daughter, or Ivanka. Bingo. Well, she's a pretty she's a hot piece of ass, you know. Bingo, but not for him. 
No, he's the daddy. Yeah. He's the biological father. But he said, father. as long as you're a star, they let you do anything. So that's his thinking. Well, he can do anything. There's a banner. There's a banner uh, when we go to break for lunch that mentions like uh, it's like the it's like the the more poor you are, the more you're looked upon as a crazy lunatic. The richer you are, it goes from crazy right. lunatic to just being eccentric. In other words, you're permitted more things when you're rich and famous. That's correct. The pharaohs got away with it. The kings got away with it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I, I, I mean, I mean, look at uh, uh, people uh, believe money and intelligence go together. Jennifer Lopez, when she went to the Academy Awards years ago, she was she was pro she was almost like ninety percent naked Ooh. in in the so-called designer dress. Nobody in their right mind, no woman in their right mind, would wear that in public. And uh, after that th that night, she got all the publicity, all the attention. And uh, now everybody be pretty much knows what she looks like, and that's uh, uh, Malia, Malia, Malia or Melanie. What's her name? Trump or his wife? M M Malia, Manalia. Yeah, Ma no, Ma Ma Mali. You say Malia. Yeah, she has. Uh, she she doesn't. She doesn't feel bad about being the first lady and having all these naked photos that everybody could could get. Or anybody could see it. I mean, there's no. You know, but but Pat Robertson, he said he made a big stink about uh, Michelle Obama having bare arms. But what he said about Melanie Trump was, oh, it's beautiful uh, art form. Melania, the, the naked Melania, Melania. The, the native, the naked female body is a, is beautiful art. It is art. No, it ain't. It's a beautiful body, or it's not a beautiful body, it's, deformed body. Not, but it's okay. But of course. Michelle Obama's bare uh, bare arm dress was bad to yeah. Pat Robertson, yeah, because he has an agenda with. Well, of course. What he said. Of course. So does Mitch McConnell have an agenda? I mean, they've got to help their guy. See how they're like chameleons. You see how they they just quickly change color and flip. Well, you see flip, what flop, happened flip. with Paul Ryan and 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 and, and, and Mitch McConnell. Oh yeah, when kissing Trump's ass at the end. First, Paul. First, Paul Ryan is saying that no pe people do not ha do not need to fear Donald Trump as president. He he, you are you are rest assured that you will, this country will be just fine and you will be fine. And then like later on, and, and he wants to cut Social Security by fifty percent or whatever and. He wants to cut. They want to slash probably all social services, uh, uh, and, and you know, and they, that goes contrary to what he said in an interview. Now, uh, by the way, uh, social security is not an entitlement. It doesn't. It's not yours to steal. Yeah, but even but that's not the issue. It with social security and those and entitlements, the uh, the agenda is to get you off of free money so you will work for someone for nothing, for nothing. or thereabouts that's the agenda Sla uh, to bring back slavery right but it but, but it's okay for the rich to get free money but if you're getting social security and a pension you want to sit home on your ass maybe or go into your own business that's, or that, whatever. Uh, you don't work the, for some the, idiot. The fixed income of, of social services, not including social security uh, uh, and um, unemployment, is pathetically. Uh, well, pathet yes, it's uh, they they are pathetic drops in a bucket. Yeah, well, they that's why they they got that much. At yeah, least. they only make they only make like it's only one or two percent of the total budget. You can't and, totally and, live on it. And uh, uh, it's about time they lift the cap off of Social Security. Uh, yeah, don't start. you think that's an unfair thing that's been going on for how many years? What, what do they call it? You're punishing the wealthy that that yeah. oh that worked hard to become rich. Oh yeah, yeah it's right. My money is mine. Oh yeah. What about the the silver spooners that inherited everything? Worked hard. Yeah, but taxes are a fair way to run the government. 
Okay? What you but if you don't pay your fair share, someone else has to make that up. Yeah, like the middle class. I mean, Main Street has to make it up. Like, yes. the more money you make, the more taxes you should pay. Yes. That's, That's the way it was set up. Okay, in the 1800s. It's a very simple, basic, fair system. Yeah. Progressive tax system is, is, is fair. Now, in the old days, they, they didn't have taxes because we had, we had tariffs. And, uh, you know, the government didn't require that much money to, to work. So the tariffs were okay. But after a while, tariffs were not enough to support the government. Well, they, didn't the King of England mooch off his people, all the peasants and serfs and everything? They had the tax collectors going around. Well, that's, uh, I wonder why uh, Joe Olstein and all those people you're talking about don't call that socialism. Well, if Joel Osteen, oh. if Joel Osteen doesn't help the poor and he hogs all the donation money for himself and lives in a huge mansion yeah. and doesn't speak scripture, oh. well, then he must not be a real pastor. Yeah. So, you know, why? Well, what do you do? He's a good businessman. Why is his mega church? Why is his mega church tax exempt? Exactly. If, it, it's, a, it's a business. Because we stupid people voted for that. Or allowed our representatives to vote for that. Hey, Jimmy Swagger. Ah, hail sin. Kept on picking up uh, prostitutes on, on the side of the street. Whores, whores, whores. Hey, people still donated after that. One time he got caught. Another time he got caught. God knows how many times he got caught. People still gave him money, and they still think that you know they're they're like. They think that if you put your your hands and arms up in the air and, and squint your eyes like you're constipated, like you take a, a big shit, they think that that's like a Wi-Fi antenna to God. They think that God hears you better. Remember when Ted Cruz had his arms up in the air and he was well, taking a shit, he was, he was, his eyes were closed? Religion is one of those biggest agenda-based fake news. Wow. Well, right? Organized religion was was probably the first fake news, but but fall uh, organized religion with with uh, counterfeit Christian zealot cultists is even worse. There you go. You know what? You saw Mr. They sneak their agenda through, don't they? You saw Mr. Science, the the scrawny gentleman with the big bow tie. You saw him scientifically describe that a fertilized human egg is not, and I repeat, is not a baby. Human. A human. Yeah. And then so some other uh, member of uh, my holistic health group says, uh, puts down, yeah, uh, Mr. Science, what about a, a heartbeat? Yeah, what about, you don't believe, uh, it's, it's not divinely, uh, it's not divine, how come, how do you explain a heart beating? Hey, well, you know, I never said nature and, and nature is not, and it's, it's not amazing. Well, you, oh, I hope you did not say that potentially it will become a human if it's gestating within a human. There's no heart beating yet. But is that the way we should determine those things? Is not it the right of the woman to determine? What is best for her body? This be put between her and her doctor. I'll use my authentic old-fashioned jingle bell from the levity bells as an example. Pretend this is a a nut with the shell on it. Oh, let's pretend it's an acorn. Pretty big acorn. All right, an acorn is like probably one third the size of this. It's a potential oak tree. Now some. Uh, some right-wing evangelical could come around and say, Oh, the miracle of that little tiny acorn becoming that immense oak tree. Oh, that, that's God. That's proof. No, it, no, it's not. It's just proof that you got to love nature. you, you got to be in, in awe of Mother Nature. And, and science is incredible. It's like, you know, it, it's not enough sufficient evidence that their God exists. You know, anyway, let's go to our first reading. No, we're not doing bad on time.
because I got an early start. I got an early start. Oh, I want to send a happy birthday. Actually, it's the 21st of December. Happy birthday to a good friend of mine and one of my finest, if not the finest, administrator, administrators of uh, uh, a couple of my groups, Mr. Sash Boyle. His birthday's coming up December 21st. And also, Hail Krampus. A shout out to Krampus, my, my hero. And uh, happy Festivus for the rest of us because next, the next show, God permitting, would be our uh, pagan, phony Christmas, uh, happy Festivus, and uh, Hail Krampus special show. That'll be next week. If I'm able to get here. Hillary Clinton spoke openly for the first time about Russia's role in the hacking of her campaign oh, for, as well as the Democratic National Committee. Oh, does she speak for free or does she get paid? Free. Saying an effort documented by several U.S. intelligence agencies was a result of Vladimir Putin's personal beef with her. Clinton made the remarks Thursday evening during a closed-door gathering of campaign donors in New York City. Yeah, he had a beef with a box too. According to audio remarks obtained by the New York Times, the defeated Democratic presidential nominee said her previous comments critical of Russia's 2011 elections were a motivating force behind an unprecedented Russian plot to swing this election. I knew I forgot something. Putin publicly blamed me for the outpouring of outrage by his own people. And that is the direct line between what he said back then and what he did in this election, Clinton said. Make no mistake, as the press is finally catching up to the facts, which we desperately tried to present to them during the last months of the campaign, Clinton told the group, this is not just an attack on me and my campaign, although that may have added fuel to it, this is an attack against our country. We are well beyond normal political concerns here. This is about the integrity of our democracy and the security of our nation. What about the, the, the vote count? What about what uh, Jill Stein uh, uncovered with her vote count? Well, she got she, screwed in Pennsylvania. She, she, the judges. Jill Stein proved more voter fraud yeah. with the Not old DNC and the Hillary Clinton campaign. On Capitol Hill, Democrats are pressing for an independent commission to investigate Russia's efforts, similar to the bipartisan panel that examined the September 11 terror attacks. 17 U.S. intelligence agencies have determined that the Russian government directed the hacking. And you believe that? Not you per se, but the people believe their government of the United States. 17 U.S. intelligence agencies determined Russia was responsible for the hacking. 17 agencies get their salaries from the puppet master of the oligarch. Well, who's the oligarch in this case? Well, you don't believe the U.S. is under control of the uh, the Zionist big banks, or George Soros, or the Rothschilds. And how do they have this connection to the 17 well, they, they, U.S. Uh, intelligence agencies? They don't. Well, the the established U.S. government. Uh, they they don't want anybody to, who to the left to to get in office. Period. 
Man, they're like the the media, you know, they're all paid off. And, you know. But what does that have to do with the FBI, the CIA? Well, they want to blame. They want to blame Russia to 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 get Hillary off the hook. How does that get her off the hook? Have they proven, without a shadow of a doubt, that they that proved the hacking? Came from you don't have to prove what it did to the campaign. Well, Wiki WikiLeaks Julian Assange says it was the inside informer uh, uh, in, here. The hacking gave the information to WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks then poured it out. Right, but what, what WikiLeaks says it didn't come from Russia. It came from inside inside job, inside informer, like the man that was murdered. Inside from who? That man, uh, Seth. Uh, the man that 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 was bumped off. I know nothing about a man being bumped off. Former DNC employee, bump, uh, shot in the back. Must have been very shot. powerful man. No, he was. To uh, accomplish he, that. He he gave inside information to uh, to WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks. He he was. Uh, no one from the CIA or the, he gave to WikiLeaks. Nobody from the DNC gave any no, any information not to, WikiLeaks. to WikiLeaks. Not to WikiLeaks. No. You're not, you're not a big fan of the uh, Anonymous or WikiLeaks, are you? You don't have to be a fan of stuff that is given out from a person. You are the one who determines what is right listen, and what is wrong Listen. according listen, to facts. Let's say you're a big shot. Let's say William J. Eisenman is a big shot and uh, has more money than Joel Holstein. Good. Now, if I suspect you're doing something shady, and I I, I am an expert com, com, whiz kid genius hacker, and I get I hack into your servers, and I find evidence that you're not an honest guy at all. You're a scoundrel. All right. All right. All right. I'm not. As, look, if you have if you, if you have nothing to hide, if you're honest, you have nothing to hide. What are you going to do with that information? What if I find out you 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 suck, and I hack you, then it's like uh, 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 a heroic um, intrusiveness, or it depends on what you do with the information. It's heroic because I'm 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 uh, 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 keeping you from further. Uh, uh, Not if nobody knows about it. How do you get this information out to people? You know, like somebody caught Bernard Madoff making off with everybody's money. Somebody caught Bernard Madoff. If nobody would have caught him and exposed him, well then, Bernard Madoff would still be doing it. But Bernard Madoff, he stole from the top 1%, and that's why... He was arrested and they threw away the key. But that has nothing to do with anything we're talking about here. We're talking about 17 intelligence agencies within the United States who have determined that it was Russia that did the hacking. Now, Russia did the hacking, but they did with the information to damage the, campaign, the Clinton campaign or whatever. That's another matter. And they say that they gave it to WikiLeaks to expose. Yeah, but the have. hacking was determined to have been by Russia. In their opinion. Their statement. The CIA and the FBI are not to be making opinions. They oh, are no. to investigate and put and expose the facts. That's their job. Oh, really? Like, they, their like job. they did with Roswell? Yeah, the weather balloon. Well, that's, a, that's a, not the FBI. That was the space agency, whatever it was named back then, NASA or whatever. All right. So what you're saying is, you know, that part of that branch of the government is unbiased. We don't know that. Where is the goddamn extraterrestrials? Now, if you don't, if you have evidence, you have to be careful who you give it to because um, you can't like you can't give it to the U.S. media because then they'll turn around and show their their uh, their supervisors and their supervisors will tell the people that pay their salary and so on and so on. They'll say, "Oh no no no! Don't say a word of this. You're forbidden." 
you know, and then the government will say, oh, no, no, we can't let this out. So it's like you have to be very selective in who you give the information to. Well, if Walt Disney owns Channel 7, Channel 7 ain't going to say nothing bad about Walt Disney. You mean WABC? But this is business. W as it's carried yeah, w out. Uh, WABC is owned by the See, Disney Corporation. This is why people don't get the, uh, the, uh, the 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 fact that the government is not a business. So a businessman is not the best person to have in charge of the government. Yeah, tell the that. The government is different. Trump when he's appointing that people, is correct. People for his cabinet. That is correct, sir. Now where was? The Central Intelligence Agency concluded that the intent was to harm Clinton's campaign. The Russians had used similar tactics across Europe to influence public opinion there. Okay? Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Well, hey. There's heavy-duty um, extraterrestrial sightings, heavy-duty, in, in Antarctica. That's why the U.S. government uh, has no-fly zones over these areas where the extraterrestrials are seen. There's no, there's, there's, uh, there's like a, uh, uh, almost 2,000 uh, We've been seeing military personnel in, in, and UFOs for decades, and yet there's no proof. Absolute proof that they exist. No, well, because they're, and if they do they're, exist, they're keeping it a, a secret. Secret. If they do exist, all our religions are garbage. Oh, that's why the government. Garbage. The government is very closed-mouthed about that subject. I don't know yeah. that that's why. Why would they? Well, why would the government, our government per se? Protect all religions. The um, religion is in theory is based on faith. You know, you either you believe it or you don't believe it. It's not proven, but you know, uh, if if extraterrestrials were proven to exist, to exist, not not just the the uh, ancient alien theorists. Theorists, and that's all they are. Who, um, like the, the guy the, with the Greek name with his hair up, sticking up in the air, mm. he believes his own theories to be true, but he doesn't have the concrete evidence to say it. But he uh, jumps the gun and he is he assumes it to be true. The others, like von Deineken, well, he's a little pushy too with his his theories, his opinions, but they're theories. Like the Big Bang Theory. It's a yeah. theory. Yeah. But anybody can postulate a theory. The theory of uh, relativity. Theory. You know, uh, uh, yes, exactly. Uh, I mean, the, 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 the evangelicals uh, get away with uh, saying they, that uh, evolution is a theory. It's but evolution is proven. Now, okay. whether a monkey became a human, I'm not talking about that. Oh. But I am talking about germs that uh, uh, when, you, uh, when you give them antibiotics, they change. And the antibiotics never killed them again. This well, is evolution. It's evolution. Well, well, I mean, when a person grows from a baby to a, 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 an adult human being and he's learning, this is evolution. Hey, creationism is in theory, too. They're the whole religion, concept of religion is in theory. That's correct. So if there are extraterrestrials, then there's no religion. Then you have to start from scratch all over again. Well, they got heavy, uh, let me tell you, the show Ancient Aliens, every, every season that comes by, they got more and more and more evidence to show. That's all I have to say. All right. Uh, 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 I think I need a smaller one. Like Bill Bill Morrow says, did uh, God create man or did man create God? As it stands, man created 99.9% .9 of all religions. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well. Okay, I have to yeah. go to a small yeah, one. Yeah, go here. to a small one. Yeah, we're going to hit. Okay, go when it. our brains. If you have any. Are asleep. Which most Americans are. Nothing we experience is encoded into memory. The levity bells. This is one reason sleep teaching devices don't work. To remember fragments of a dream, one must awaken, at least somewhat, while it is occurring. And even then, the memory is likely to be fleeting. People who recall more of their dreams may be slightly more wakeful in general, especially if they are making an effort to remember or keep a record of them. Let me tell you something, ever since I got my collection of uh, specific stone pyramids, I've been getting lots of vivid, clear, technicolor dreams that I remember, and it's all night long. Well, that's because you're not getting any sleep. No, no, the, when, <laughs> when I finally get to sleep. Yeah, but it, she's just telling you now. Yeah. If you remember your dreams, that is because you were half awake or waking. So if you remember all these dreams at night, let's say five, ten, or whatever, that means your sleep is erratic. Yeah. Well, you're, not, well. you're supposed to stay in REM sleep, REM sleep, for at least ninety minutes. Well, it must be. It, mu it, it Yeah. Well, the dream, the most vivid dreams, must occur uh, not too long before waking, because that's how I remember, I remember them. them, and sometimes mm -hmm. I wake up startled. <laughs> Some of the dreams are 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 like very surrealistic. Yes, and they can some, be. Some very, of them are not. No, not surrealistic. They can be real, out there. They can feel real, baby. Oh, you mean like as good as the holodeck? Better, as good as the real. Remember when when uh -huh. when Scotty uh, had the fight before he had the fight with the Klingons? He goes to to check off. I.e., this is a real man's drink, scotch. Your vodka is superior to your vodka, something like that. Romulan ale was always the banned one that they all <laughs> brought ale. out for uh, big occasions. Romulan ale. Romulan well, ale. the the gentleman that uh, owns Climax Brewery, it's a microbrewery in Roselle uh, Park, New Jersey, Roselle, New Jersey. He, um, he told me, I asked him, what's the difference between ale and beer? He says, ale is top fermenting and beer is bottom fermenting. And uh, stout is, uh, has a, uh, contains a lot of roasted barley. It has a, a roasted barley flavor. And whereas porter is also the black, but it is uh, chocolate. Remember, cacao, chocolate, cocoa is used. Yes. Barley gives you a product which is not gluten free. Huh? Barley is, is if high gluten. You're beer with barley. Barley is high gluten. Getting gluten. Correct. Yeah, so if you, if you are intolerant to gluten, if you're a gluten, you have a gluten intolerance, you cannot, you cannot have wheat or any of its family members like Kamut, Faro, and uh, spelt. They, these are form. These are forms of wheat. You can't have any wheat and no barley. Everything else is gluten free. All the other grains and pseudo grains. Recurring dreams are more likely to be remembered because of the increased number of opportunities to awaken during them. And frightening dreams are sometimes recalled only because they wake you up. You mean those blood coitling dreams? Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, a, a little moment of silence for the actor uh, Alan Thicke passed away. And... Somebody else? Yes, the... Uh, the I, I, English guy. The English guy, who was, I thought was Mr. Belvedere, but no, he, it's not. It, 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 uh, 
he played Mr. Oh, I'll remember it someday. Oh, he died along with Mr. French? No, Mr. What the hell his name is, I don't remember. But he's a man from Uncle. Guy. Well, he died a long time ago. The English guy. Steve died a long time ago. No, that's not the This is recent. This is someone who reminds me of Mr. Belvedere. Like he used to be a program on TV. He's a character. He's like a character. Character actor, yes. Yeah, and he, he played. Uh, I can't believe that, like, Mr. Bean and Benny Hill are dead. Mr. Bean? He wasn't old. But any, anyway, moment of silence for Alan Thicke. Okay, we are going to break for lunch now. Um, I don't know what made me forget my scarf at the beginning of the show, but better late than never. We'll see you after lunch. Oh, this is the new promo for Progressive Discussions. So you know what to do. You'll see it. Very educational. And God knows the average person today needs education. They don't want it. But they're numbskulls, imbeciles, and nincompoops. Oh, they regard it as work. Oh, so people are becoming lazy. Lazy America does not You know, I'll, t oh, I'll mention it when we come back. Greetings. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 Hard Hitting Podcasts, Holistic Health Talk, and Progressive Discussions. I want to talk about the very foundation of our entire organization, the newsletter that was founded by my co host and mentor, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisman, in 1977. And that newsletter is called Censored. Newsletter Censored is truth and news fighting censorship and conservative propaganda. We believe we are living in the end times and you need Newsletter Censored. Newsletter Censored pr provides the kind of truth that most people are afraid to hear. Can you handle it? Newsletter Censored is for the independent, critical, free thinker with an open mind. Besides the reading of Censored, Newsletter Censored also has The God Project and How to Defeat a Conservative. There is nothing in the mainstream media or the press like Newsletter Censored. So simply go to www.newslettercensored.com and with your gift to support this work, get your free annual subscription 
to the newsletter that started it all in 1977, Newsletter Censored. You need Newsletter Censored. That's www.newslettercensored.com. Greetings. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 Hard Hitting Podcasts, Holistic Health Talk, and Progressive Discussions. I want to talk about the very foundation of our entire organization, the newsletter that was founded by my co-host and mentor, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisman in 1977. And that newsletter is called Censored. Newsletter Censored is truth and news fighting censorship and conservative propaganda. We believe we are living in the end times and you need Newsletter Censored. Newsletter Censored pr provides the kind of truth that most people are afraid to hear. Can you handle it? Newsletter Censored is for the independent, critical, free thinker with an open mind. Besides the reading of Censored, Newsletter Censored also has The God Project and How to Defeat a Conservative. There is nothing in the mainstream media or the press like Newsletter Censored. So simply go to www.newslettercensored.com and with your gift to support this work, Get your free annual subscription to the newsletter that started it all in 1977, Newsletter Censored. You need Newsletter Censored. That's www.newslettercensored.com. All right. That's it. We're back. Are we? We're back. Anyway, I hope you, I hope you soak in that knowledge. Really good. Um, that uh, gentleman you hear with the rich, deep voice, that is uh, William Hamilton Morrill III coming out of retirement to, to just do the announcing. Um, not the promo, just the announcement. Anyway, I uh, I got kicked out of this uh, social group, social group recently on Facebook. Very high volume. It it, it, it turned out that it was uh, mostly young people. Unfortunately, it was mostly millennials and um, a lot of punks talking shit about each other. And uh, this one girl posted her photo and she was mentioning about the group as long as the administrators keep out those low lives that were um, no, she didn't say low lives she, she said those people that were posting child pornography Ew. photos on the group and my response was I get the same uh, uh, sleazy scumbag scammers that, that infiltrate my groups and they, they, they you know when something is free like like Facebook um, every 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 vile creature that comes that's comes slithering from under a rock tries to get into and disrupt and sabotage what you have if you have groups or pages because I said that they're all ganging up on me like uh, Something's wrong with me. I got, I got my, uh, I'm some hater or something. Uh, they're acting like Pollyannas. I go, all I was doing was reinforcing and agreeing with what the girl said. And even she ganged up on me. It's like the, these millennials, they're Pollyannas. They're Pollyannas. They live in their own world where if you say anything critical, You're, you're this, what they call a hater. And it is reality. Life is not Alice in Wonderland. You know, so they, they kick me out and ban me, but it, you know, it's, 
a, being a Pollyanna is like being in, your, in the holodeck on, on Star Trek. It's like you be, you're in your own world, uh, uh, looking at it through rose-colored glasses. Is that the old they saying? Are, that's what they do. And then if you if you say anything critical, they call you a hater. That, that that's like that's like playing the the false. The, the uh, fake news card. You're playing the fake news card. Or if you're a woman, you're playing the gender card. Or that, that, that big bad man is picking on little old damsel in distress. You know, that bullshit. Or playing the race card. People try to get out of hearing what they don't want to hear. If you hit a raw nerve. You're telling somebody something they don't want to hear. They play uh, the so-called card. Anything they play, any game to get out of it. Or they can tune you out. Or they can kick you out. Right. Well, they don't want to hear. It. That's what all, a lot of people do. Why do you think they cannot be educated? They cannot be educated. Therefore, if they're not, if you can't educate them. They're easier to brainwash. If they're easier to brainwash, they're easier to become your your bitch, your lemming, to do your bidding, like what happens with uh, the politics of the United States of America. You know, um, you, can anyway. only, you can only teach to an open mind. As simple as yeah, that. Yeah, you must, it, if you're not, a, a true progressive, is an independent free thinker, critical free thinker, with an open mind. Uh, George Carlin, he's, he explained it many times. The late, great George Carlin, I mean, we're, we're fed lies from the time that we could, we start talking and understanding the communication. We're, we're we have a big lie coming up on the 25th of this month. Oh, you mean uh, uh, celebrating the birth of Jesus? Yeah. Well, some woman says to my response, to my uh, posts about that, she says, well, even, even though Jesus was not born in December, we, we, should, we should really celebrate him sometime. Well, I don't think Jesus believed in celebrating birthdays. He didn't need that only Pharaoh and Herod were interested in those things. So that's an if he wanted you to celebrate his birthday, he would have given it to you. That's an ego thing, right? Yes. Celebrating a birthday. Right. You know, and uh and that's it's it's like you know, you celebrate Easter, pagan Easter, Ishtar. You celebrate um, Yule, which is really the Christmas traditions with the pine tree and the fireplace. It's Yule, mm -hmm. the pagan from your northern Europe. Mm -hmm. You celebrate these pagan holidays because uh, retail makes a lot of money off of them. But what about? The rest of the year, what are the, like people who brag, they go to church on Sunday. Going to church on Sunday doesn't make you a real Christian. Correct. Doesn't make you a Christian. Period. Correct. Now, what about when you leave the church on Sunday? How do you behave and how do you treat other people the rest of the week? Uh, you just go through the motions, get all dressed up, to go to church on Sunday so you can brag that you go to mass every week. Guess so. You know, and then you're you're an Suits asshole the, re the rest of the week. They get away with it. Yeah, you know. but the born the born again uh, kooks, uh, they feel the law is nailed to the cross, and you can be an asshole, and you're you're forgiven and you're saved, and uh, because of the, the blood sacrifice, you know. But but you still have to follow rules. And that's what they're there for. Yeah, I mean, God has uh, God's uh, has conditions, you know. So anyway, the commandments are not for the righteous. 
They are for those that are not righteous. Those that need to repent. Well, okay. if you're righteous, your guilty conscience will will keep you from going towards sin. You you go you go. No, no. Well, no. well, temptation is thrown at you all the time. God knows what sin is, and God can sin at any time. He chooses not to. You because the, he understands the, the consequences. You mean the, the righteous. And that would be in the same, the righteous would be in the same uh, 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 way. It's not that God puts one part of his life off like porn or something and doesn't look at it, or doesn't know what it's about, or just any other thing. He chooses not to. Well, the sin is thrown at you. The temptation is always thrown at you, no matter who you are. But it's up to you to decide what you're going to do with it. There you go. If you know, Choices. You, if you know that stealing is, aside from the Ten Commandments, is really not a nice thing to do, and, <coughs> and there's consequences if you get caught, and, <coughs> and if you have a conscience, it should bother you if you're, you know, you're not a sociopath. You know the consequences of doing the sin, or it yeah. could be adultery uh, uh, with somebody else's mm -hmm. wife, or it could be—you know what I mean? It goes on and on and on and on. Like I know people that are really friendly to your face, and 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 they uh, they act like they're caring and everything, and then they 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 trash you behind your back. That's bearing false witness against thy neighbor, right? <clears throat> well, it's, 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 not, uh, it's not a good thing. Because you're a hypocrite. It's being a hypocrite, yeah. Yeah. Or being a, um, a mega church TV evangelist that goes through the motions and then when, he, when the camera is turned off, he goes out and he buys himself a huge mansion and maybe, uh, you know, a Ferrari or a Mercedes or a BMW or whatever with the donation money. Well, you're sort of, it's like embezzling money from the church to spend on you. Yeah. Uh, what's so new about that? It happens all the time. Instead of doing God's work with the money, uh -huh. you know what I mean? People yeah. are donating it. If, if somebody's tithing to the evangelist, and the evangelist is reaping the rewards of the tithing, they're supposed to take the tithe money and turn around and do good things with it. That's correct. Not God's work. Not, uh, not selfish things. No. Right. Not at all. God's work would be to provide food for food pantries, soup kitchens, uh, shelter for the homeless, well, that's not, things of that's that nature. Not the, 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 the first cause of God's work is to educate. Yeah. Because if you are an educated person and you are a person living in an God's economics, etc., etc., you will have your way of making your living. Right. And you will not need a food pantry. See, that, there's the problem. Okay, so that's not a big part of God's plan. The, the real problem is, is that we shouldn't have the Same. food pantry and the soup kitchen and the and the homeless shelters. We shouldn't have. We should uh, a, a country this prosperous that is and rich should not need those things because there should be no homeless. And, and people living in squalor, and people living in shacks or whatever, no. or in tents in the United States of America. It shouldn't be that way. That's correct. So it's, you know, I mean, feeding them and clothing them and giving, giving them a homeless shelter is nice because it enables them to survive, but the real problem is they shouldn't be in that it tells situation. Us that we humans are not doing a good job. So that, that means... If you, you could have a, a master's degree or a PhD 
<clears throat> you could have a fantastic resume. All of a sudden, you lose everything. You end up on the street. You become homeless. Mm -hmm. Then you become a wino Ugh. or whatever. And you're like, and as soon as you're, you're broke and you're homeless, you're invisible. Mm -hmm. now, now, now society ignores you. If you're, if you're lying on the ground, they step over you. You know, so it's like, so we all have like monetary value, unfortunately. That's, that's what it's all about. Everything can be measured. Yeah, you know, and uh, it's, it's very sad. I mean, and you got a price put on it. The system is rotten to the core and it has to be changed because um, you shouldn't have to <clears throat> have this poverty. No. You know, even children going to bed hungry, they should, shouldn't exist. And the veterans, oh my God, the veterans, uh -huh. after what they went through, and then you, you turn your back on them when they come back home, that's the spec. How dare them not die on the battlefield so that we don't have to take care of them and worry about them? You mean die on the, ba they? Die on the ba battlefield so big oil can rake in... More profits and and the, uh, yeah, and, the, and, the yeah. and the war contractors can make. What's good for General Motors is good for the United States of America. Yeah. What's the company Halliburton that made money off the war? KBR Halliburton, yes, yeah. all of them. Right? How dare? How dare they? Yeah. That's why Trump thinks he can get away with it because Cheney got away with it. And he's flag waving. Um, well, yeah, he set the example, Cheney. Dick Cheney and uh, G.W. Bush, so you, you can get a, you, all this flag waving. I mean, it's um, <clears throat> it means nothing. It, it's all hot air. Or well, you know these people that insist that you're going over to the Middle East to save, uh, to fight for the nation bill, to fight for all Americans and save their preserve their freedom. Has nothing to do with that. No. You know, you you destabilize, you you get rid of a dictator that does not want to comply with the oligarchs, so you bump them off. Now, now, like Bernie Sanders said, you destabilize the country. Right. You know, I heard Muammar Gaddafi was pretty damn good to his people. That's correct. You know, speaking about free education. And medical and etc. Gaddafi had it. We didn't like it. No, you had a good system under Muammar Gaddafi. We didn't like it. Right. Now, now, if you are brainwashed to believe that American capitalism is like godly and the best, God's gift to humans. Then you flip out when somebody tells you that Muammar Gaddafi did a lot of good for his people and or Vladimir Putin did a lot of good for his people and they yell at you and they uh, they call you names like it was done to me you know but they don't have any they don't have any evidence to back up their opinion that American capitalism is good and the best they have nothing to back it up and the reality is it was always rigged for the rich since the Industrial Revolution. You know, and, uh, you know what? What? It was a better life having, owning the family farm. It was peaceful. It was less stress. You made your own food. It was secure. It was secure. You were secure. When you moved to the city and the tenements and the filth and the disgust. There was no more security. And you had to go to the man to get a job to survive. You had to work for the man to okay. for survival, for for a paycheck from right. him. Like um, the oh, man, no. like the scumbag J.P. Morgan yeah. and the rest of their ilk, his ilk. No longer did the land pay. Yeah, pay off for you. So God's economics, the world of tomorrow, was very similar to families living on their own farm, their own land. Micah 4 verse 4, every man in the world tomorrow shall have his own land and his own vine. Oh, 
the mica family. There were four of them, right? That's, that's why they're called four mica. Mica four verse four. All right. Nobody wants four mica today. They want uh, stone. Oh, my, my neighbor got armor all put in his driveway. He had the the asphalt removed and he got the uh, the armor all. Armatech. Armatech. I'm sorry. Armor all. Armor all is a, a cleaning a, thing. Clean yeah. <laughs> for, the, for the dashboard. Yeah. Armatech. That guy. Yeah. I'm the I'm the president of Armatech. Yeah. Yeah. You know that guy. Yeah. I, he I, talks I, like this. All right. Anyway, let's get back to the. I've reason. seen him do his commercials. It looks like new. I hate jingles. Oh, that um, that 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 stupid song. That that uh, that new pharmaceutical drug for uh, plaque uh, psoriasis, psoriasis. And, they, and they play "We're Walking on Sunshine." Walking, I'm walking on, on sunshine, sunshine. yeah, and it feels good. Yeah. Oh yeah, look, come plaque on. Plaque psoriasis, yes. Walking on sunshine for advertising a damn drug. Facebook is taking steps to weed out fake news and hoaxes, addressing the growing controversy over its role in the spread of misinformation on the internet that sharpened political divisions and inflamed discourse during the presidential election. Well, maybe the candidates des uh, created their own reasons for discourse. By the way, this uh, article is written by Mark Zuckerberg. The giant social network said Thursday it plans... No, wait a minute. No, okay. I'm sorry. It's not written by Mark, no. The giant social network said on Thursday it plans to make it easier to report a hoax and for fact-checking fact organizations to flag fake articles. Huh. It, it is also removing financial incentives for spammers and plans to pay closer attention to other signals such as which articles Facebook users read but then don't share. Last month, Facebook barred fake news sites from using its ad selling services. We believe in giving people a voice and that we cannot become arbiters of truth ourselves. So we are approaching this problem carefully. Facebook took heat after the election for not doing enough to remove fake news reports such as a widely shared but erroneous article claiming Pope Francis endorsed Donald Trump. Some 700, 100, excuse me, and 70 million people in North America use Facebook every day. Nearly half of all adults in the U.S. say they get their news from Facebook. Facebook has been reluctant to put itself in the position of judging what content is misleading, resisting calls that it has become a de facto news publisher, exercising editorial judgment with the power to sway the minds of billions of people. Well, we know that the onion is satire. <laughs> You know, certain organizations that put out satire because yeah. they're funny as hell and they're preposterous. So any normal person would see it and, and laugh. But I don't trust these people that are, are deciding what is fake news and what is not fake news. The people that are going over the inf information for Facebook. BuzzFeed News found that people who say they rely on Facebook as a major source of news were more likely to believe politically slanted fake news stories. 
An earlier BuzzFeed news analyst analysis found that top performing fake news articles on the election generated more engagement on Facebook than articles from major news outlets in the last months of the presidential campaign. Fake news creates significant public confusion about current events, with nearly one quarter of Americans saying they have shared a fake news story. While saying it was extremely unlikely that phony stories shared on Facebook changed the election outcome, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg said that work had begun to help the nearly 1.8 billion users of Facebook to flag fake news and hoaxes. Our goal is to show people the content they will find most meaningful, and people want accurate news. City University of New York journalism professor Jeff Jarvis says he is pleased to see Facebook take the scourge of fake news seriously. It's a fairly crappy experience go in and see ridiculously stupid lies in your feed. That's, that's, that's their opinion. Some people say people want to believe what they want to believe. I'm not so cynical about mankind. If it is, it is. I actually believe that people want to be correct, given the opportunity to be correct, Jarvis said. Yeah, wow, 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 wow. Hey, so, so if, if before November, if, if people post posted articles about Deborah Wasserman Schultz and the, the DNC rigging the primaries for Hillary Clinton and screwing Bernie Sanders, in their opinion, they would call that fake news causing trouble. No, it's, well, it's called, hey, you hit a raw nerve and you hear something you don't want to hear, you're talking You'll about... You'll play the fake news card. You are talking about two pieces of news that no one has investigated. We're not talking about that. We're talking about two pieces of news and they have been investigated and one has been found to be fake. Well, the ones that are found to be fake uh, are supposed to be really fake. Not not using the fake news uh, slogan as a, a, as an excuse for censorship by Facebook. That's what, what I'm saying. Well, that's what they're trying not to do. Well, I don't well, want I, I, I want the I don't want the truth seekers and the and the progressive organizations to be censored and have the the corporations. Uh, spread their propaganda. These things will be handled by independent sources, not by Facebook. Yeah, and independent, Senate. yeah. Uh -huh. Regarding Governor Chris Christie wants a book deal oh. and slow economic growth from low octane wages. Yeah, low octane. An interesting juxtaposition of articles. Well, I bet it'll be a real heavy book, too. So the governor wants to raise salaries of some legislative staffers to clear the way for legislation to facilitate personal gain via a book deal. Why doesn't he just go out with a bang and, and you know, Raise all professions, and all professional salary, teachers, and just go out and just do a hell of a lot of nice things before he he leaves Trent. You know what I mean? But he can't do that. He can't? He can't? He's a Republican. He can't do that. Oh, it's then, not within their, you know, to be able to do those things. Then he might not be, he might not get an offer from Fox News for his own show. Could, 
In other words, if he starts doing progressive things to be Mr. Yeah. Nice Guy, he'll, his bridge, bridges will be burned and then he won't get any other... You see what happened to him now for putting his arm around Barack Obama during Sandy. No, he got heat for that. Well, that's what this is all about. Why do you think he ain't the Attorney General but, but it under was, Trump? But it was... It, New Jersey was in a state of crisis and Barack Obama was like the superhero that came, uh, yeah, right, the superhero that came and, uh, um, and the only people that received the money, I think, were the business owners on the Jersey Shore. Well, that's what uh, Christie found out. It's either New Jersey or it's you. Meeting him. That's what he learned, the lesson. The cronies. The, cr the cronies come first. That's what it's all about. Yet, he can't find a way to support significantly increasing the minimum wage for New Jersey's working class. The wanton hubris, while not surprising, is consistent with the path this administration has taken. It is me first, and the taxpayers in the rearview mirror. Okay. Well, he's he's just uh, an obese version of Donald Trump. Maybe he's an obese version of Trump. I know. I know he's waiting for for a job in his cabinet. I'm, I'm honestly surprised. Cabinet is filled, I think. Also, uh, he. Trump is not hiring his, no. his buddy Chris Christie. No. The guy that he knows well, his pal, pal of mine, he's not giving him a job at all. Let Governor Chris Christie write his book. But why do we need to give up $10 million in raises for him to do so? Better yet, just let him resign write his book, and move on. Yeah, the I, lieutenant governor can handle the job until the next election. This is all a bunch of garbage, and another way to hurt the great people of New Jersey. Politicians run for office. The great state of Wyoming. The great state of, How can everybody be great? <laughs> I know we're great because we're proven great, but you know, you can't just throw that word great around willy-nilly. It is, <clears throat> it is unconscionable to me that our elected officials would even entertain changing the law to benefit Governor Chris Christie. This is the man who refuses to support raising the minimum wage for working people, who trashes teachers, and other state employees, and who joked about his role in the George Washington Bridge situation. The cost of living is up here, and and the average salary is is like down here, where it should be even Stephen, right? How the hell? The uh, cost of living should grow with the salaries. Yes, the salary should grow with the cost of living. And yes. so, uh, but and they so cheated. And Social Security payments should also get cost of living raises. But they cheated. Yeah. They take the energy and the food out of the CPI. They use a fake CPI. That's why Social Security recipients in January will only receive 0.2% raise. $2. You know, Two stinking he, dollars. You know, by rights, uh, all congressmen, senators, and state governors who are making uh, like 175000 plus, not counting perks, they can afford their own health insurance and retirement account. Mm -hmm. They can afford to pay for the pastries, coffee, and donuts that come in, you know, to mm -hmm. feed them in, 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 the, in the Capitol building. They can afford all these things, their own vacations, their own... The, I mean, come on, 175 grand and over, and not, not counting perks. 
you can't you can't pay for the top top of the level of health insurance on your own. You know, I mean, of course, for moderate for moderate good health insurance, moderate, it's like five hundred dollars a month. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're making over one hundred seventy-five thousand a year, and you're a senator, let's say, let's say you're making a, a lot more than that, like you can you can get top of the line. You don't have to make. It's only six thousand dollars a year. You don't have to put everything on the taxpayers' dole. Well, that's that's the cheapest way. Which is not the millionaires' tax. You know? It's not so much the millionaires' and billionaires' tax money. It's the middle class tax money. Well, that's called uh, that's like a landlord who's a slumlord. Like I heard Donald Trump's father was. Yes, I mean, I mean, you like collecting all the rent, but you don't want to maintain the building, and you don't care if the people have no running water, no heat, or if they have rats and and, and roaches and so on and so on. But you like collecting the money. Mm -hmm. You know, well that that's that's uh, what they're doing is capitalism at its best, baby. Uh, yeah, that's uh, mm -hmm. Ayn Rand's philosophy. What an ugly woman she was. I wonder she was bitter towards her fellow man, fellow woman. What would the book be about anyway? Now that he has been kicked to the curb by Donald Trump, is he going to be allowed to once again take it out on the public? Yeah, if he's kicked to the curb, he'll be blocking a lot of traffic. Shame on us for allowing this hap to happen. Everyone should be contacting his or her respective elected officials to voice disgust about this. Oh, really? You know what happened the last time I sent a nice juicy, two juicy emails to uh, uh, Senator uh, Robert Menendez? Is that his name? Why would you be sending them? Well, because everybody, everybody tells me to write to your representative. Yeah, but it's not Menendez. Menendez is Hudson County. Yeah, but he's a, he's a state senator. No, yeah, he's, he's a federal senator. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. He, he's, he's, a, he's a U.S. senator right. from New Jersey. But you have Cory Booker. But, there, but Menendez is, is Democrat also. Yeah, but he mostly deals with Hudson County. Cory Booker. Booker is Essex County and etc. Bergen County. I thought Hudson was well. Essex County is Newark. Correct. Essex County, Hudson County. They're they're both counties that that border um, Bergen, actually. Well, Bergen, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. All I know is I got uh, an automated, pre-made. Thank you for writing us. Yes, you always do. <laughs> What do you think? The one that will take you a little more seriously, of course, is your congressman, Mr. Bill Pascrow. Like Bill Pascrow. Yeah, since Garrett got kicked out, finally. Yeah, um, uh, Josh, uh, what's his name? G G Gottheimer? Gottheimer. Josh Gottheimer. Yeah, Josh, yeah. yeah. Good, good for him. Uh, but. A congressperson is more apt to reply to you right. than, than a senator. I had good, uh, I had good, uh, you know, uh, relationships with uh, Rothman when he was congressman. Yeah, I, 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 I've chatted with Bill Pascrell before. Yeah. At, uh, at the at the um, pub forty six. I've had to, Yeah, he's. Um, they used to. Bill yeah. Pascrell. Yeah, he. Um, I used to talk to Rothman when he used to be outside of Pathmark, you know, politicking. When yeah, he was I running, I think his I think his main office is uh, in Bergen. Who? Rothman. He's no longer. Bill no, he's no, he, he, he's yeah. Beat him. Yeah. He's no longer. He used to be in Hackensack. Well, um, <clears throat> what can I say? Regarding Christie's book deal, the idea that anyone would subscribe 
to anything to help Governor Christie is ludicrous. Mm. The state of New Jersey has lost so much money paying for him to run around the country in the interest of getting himself another job. Add to that the cost of Bridgegate. Most people probably feel that any profits from a book he writes should go to the state treasury. Why should he be allowed to profit from a book deal based on what he did for us? Enough is enough. All right. Let me see how we're doing on time. I tell you, the Benadryl sure kicks in. Oh, jeez. That's the only allergy medication that really helps me. I mean, it's, um, I was taking Zyrtec, which is non-drowsy, but it's not quite as effective as Benadryl. But you know what's weird? My body changed. I, I always had hay fever in June for when the, um, yeah. when the grass pollen kicked in. Now I have hay fever in, uh, in uh, the uh, the end of fall and winter, isn't that weird? Yeah. Well, I mean, what's around? Not pollen. It's just there's, there's dust mites. Yeah. It could be dust mites. The house is closed up. Well, yeah. So it's the like heat is on. Dry heat is on. So my immune system has been efficient uh, against tree pollen and grass pollen, but apparently. And and I didn't really get hit bad with ragweed, but but now, consistently I get hay fever now, which is dust mites. So, and well, I do take outstanding supplements, so that helps. I mean, I don't think I was breastfed. I think I I, I the, my mother did the lazy way out, really? and she might have given me formula, which means I I probably did not get my dose of colostrum when I was born. So you, 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 you knew, knew mothers to be breastfeed at least for the first week after your baby's born to get, to get that colostrum in the baby so its immune system is developed optimally for the rest of its life. My husband drinks a lot. That won't develop your immune system. It feels good, but, you know. When he does, his personality changes to but, the point well, naturally. that I don't want to be around him. Oh, he's a, he's a nasty drunk. He's not a friendly drunk. He's aware of this, but he continues to drink. Recently, I caught him sneaking alcohol. I'm a friendly drunk. So I hid the bottle. When he realized what I had done, he retaliated by letting our cat out after dark. Oh. Oh. Which we do not do because of the coyotes in the area. Well, that was a real stupid asshole thing for him to do. We recently lost a cat to the coyotes after dark. So him being a drunken bastard is more important than the life of his pet. It pisses me off. After he did it, Joe nonchalantly let me know the cat was outside. Joe needs a shillelagh upside his skull. He didn't say why he did it, but I figured it out. I know he's an alcoholic, but isn't this evil? Yes. It feels evil. Innocent cat, innocent pet. Or... Is it the stunted, vindictive mind of an alcoholic? No, no, don't feel sorry for this son of a bitch. He knew what he was doing when he let the cat out. It was premeditated. Whether your husband's mind is stunted, I can't say. But what he did was vindictive. It was cruel. Yes. As your letter shows, alcoholism is a disease that affects not only the alcoholic, but also the people who are close to them. And strangers if you decide to drive. 
Whether you can continue living this way is for you to decide. But see. before making up your mind, you would be wise to visit some of Al Anon meetings. To find one near you, visit Al Anon, alateen.org, or call 1 888 I got a meeting. Please don't wait. It's called a Black Thorn meeting with his, with his coconut noggin. That's my therapy. Good old shillelagh up, uh, upside the skull. You got a, uh, you got a blockbuster or maybe a change of tomato paste? Well, we just had one. Yeah, okay. Now this is another one, maybe. All right, that, that'll be the last one, then. I've been involved with a younger man for 15 years. Oh, she's one of them cougars. Grant and I were a great friend, but... Grant. We always kept things casual. Bars, hotels, sports events. We agreed we would discuss it if we wanted to date other people. And allowed each other the freedom to do so. Yeah. Over the years. But we would always get back together. This year, on my birthday, I was shocked to find out through social media Here we go. that Grant has been in a relationship with another woman the whole time I have known him. He has been giving another woman the shillelagh. In fact, she's been shellacking his shillelagh. He married her and had a baby with her. And she didn't know this? Really? He has been lying to me since the day we met. So he's 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 using his his buddy, his female friend as a booty call. Is he still banging the female friend? So she's a booty call now. She's the other woman. Oh boy, incredible. I feel terrible! Well, she's hurt, yeah. Not only for myself, but also for Grant's wife. Oh, okay. I consider him a scumbag. I, I agree. I agree. Schooma, schooma. My gut reaction was to contact his wife and spill the beans. Well, she has every right to be angry. But after I cooled down, I'm not sure if it makes sense to ruin the three more lives. Um, I just feel he should be responsible for his actions and shouldn't get away with it. Well, did she confront Grant? What would you do? Oh, she hasn't done it yet. Dear Abby says, move on. Move on. If he's married and he has a kid and he did that to her, it's not and a he done, And he done used. He used me! So, her moving on will include her telling him, telling Grant that he, she is wise to his lies and deceit and secrets and shenanigans. No, her moving on is to keep her mouth shut. No, no, she could tell Grant off. Just don't call the wifey. Oh, if he wants to tell Grant, yes. But don't tell, don't tell the wifey, because then it'll, you know... Three lies. Be ruined. And it'll get, by her telling Grant and moving on, it'll give Grant a time to think about what he did. Because, you, of course, you, you want him to think about what he did because you don't want him to cheat on his wife again with someone else. You want him to think about what he did with his actions. Yeah, she's doing the right thing. It's all cool. Cool, baby. Copacetic. Cool. All right, thank you for joining us for this week's uh, Progressive Discussions in December of 2016. The next Progressive Discussions, God willing, will be our uh, holiday show, which won't be... That'll be the 24th. Really any difference then. Christmas Eve. When is Christmas Eve? 24th. Next week, Saturday. That falls on Saturday. Catterday. Christmas is Sunday. 
Christmas Day is Sunday. Yeah, of course it'll be a Christmas Eve, yeah. Christmas Day is Sunday. Okay, that's it. We'll see you on uh, Happy Pagan Christmas. Festivus for the rest of us. Actually, forget about Christmas. Festivus for the rest of us and Hail Krampus. And Happy Yule, I'm sorry, Happy Yule, you, f you fool. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.